Hi everybody, welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and the Peter Person Tribute build of the Airfix 148 scale P51D Mustang, kit number A05131. So here's how it sits. From the last time, um, now I kind of jumped ahead a little bit, so forgive me, but I uh, put the flaps on. I uh, glued the ailerons in place. I glued the horizontal stabilizer um, parts in the back. And uh, yeah, that's what I've got done. So what else I did is I glued this part of the um, where the gun sight and everything is. So that's the next part I have to glue on is I need to glue that into place. And then I'm going to just uh, tack into place the canopy um, and it will serve as kind of a uh, mask for the cockpit, keep everything from getting messed up in there. I also glued on the antenna mast and this round antenna thing. I need to do a little bit of uh, sanding on that. <clears throat> First, let's glue that part on there okay just like i do like to do on fuselage parts i'm going to glue this a segment at a time so i'm going to do the front here first along this seam make sure that sets up really well then i'll move down then i'll move further back into this part here and make sure That's seated properly, so use the old give me an extra thin here. That fits really, really well. Now I won't be able to see until after I get the rest of the primer on, but I'm thinking that's going to be pretty dandy because all these seams, these joins, are along natural um, panel lines. So I'm going to do this. Now, again, this part right here, that's bare plastic but it's okay because that's going to be painted over so let's put a little dab of cement there and there and hold that in place while it dries okay i've set that aside to dry so next i think i am going to paint the tire portion on these wheels here and let me show you how I'm gonna do that I could do it by hand um, but I'm not gonna well let's see maybe I will get out the old Model Air NATO Black. And one of these. And my brush. I'm not going to be too careful because I'm going to be masking off for the silver or the metal for the uh, hubs. I 
course, if I was trying to be careful, I wouldn't be able to paint them this good. And just figures. Like that. And I've just got this stuck onto this toothpick here with a little blob of blue tack. Well, as far as I know, it's called the same thing in other parts of the world. All right, so there's that one. Bubble. Again, I'm not too worried about getting the ornaments. Actually, turned out pretty good. I was thinking about spraying this, but I don't really want to spray just that little bit. May have to give that two coats because it seems to be a little bit transparent. <clears throat> So I'm going to continue painting these and then later on I'll talk about the masks and what I'm going to do for that. So I'll be back. All right, then, uh, the next thing I need to do, there that stupid thing is, is um, I need to do the yellow. tips of the so you have some weird uh, discoloration going on there uh, the yellow tips <coughs> on the props prop blades and then on the nose so I am going to use XF3 flat yellow for that and I'll be using my HP M2 airbrush because it's just dandy so for this amount of paint I'm not or yeah for this amount of spraying I'm not going to be doing any kind of weird measuring stuff going on I am just going to eyeball it in the cup. What? You're going to do... Mixing it in the color cup? Yeah, for this I am. I know it's heresy for some, but you know what? Because it doesn't have to be exact. It's going on gray instead of black, so it shouldn't be too uh, too rowdy. So I'll mix it up, and then to ensure that I'm getting good color coverage, since I put the uh, um, thinner in first, I'll blow the thinner out that's in the tip of the needle there. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look here. I'm not going to saturate it or put it all on at once. I'm going to layer it up because I don't want it to pool up or do anything weird. Now you can actually see what I'm painting for a change. Okay, there's that. So we'll set that over there. I 
And it's kind of nice because... The seam line, the joint where this part meets the part I just painted, is a natural seam line on the actual aircraft, so that's kind of cool. So this is what I'm going to do here, and then I'll tape off the yellow part when I do the black. to the first part that looks pretty good Sure, you notice that uh, my cleanup job isn't very good. I cut it a little bit too deep. Now, see, yeah, blame it. Got too much paint going on right there. May have to sand that, but we'll see. We'll see how it dries. Uh, it might be okay. We'll see. Get sloppy here. So anyway, that's that. Gonna clean the airbrush. Okay, as I said earlier, I am not going to be uh, adding any of the. Um, external tanks or ammunition or any of that kind of stuff, but I am going to um, mount the uh, uh, hangers for the drop tanks and the plumbing for that. So, what I'm doing here now, as you can see, these things have pins on them. Okay, the ones on this side or are for the external fuel tanks the ones on this side go into the wings but I didn't drill the holes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them off and then take care of this mold seam line here and just clean it up so the way I did that and I've already done one right here I've got that all nice and carved out I uh, cut that sprue gate out really well, made sure so it would be, it would sit flush. And then I cut the uh, pins off of here, and then using this awesome round file with actual embedded diamond chips from the Seven Dwarfs uh, Precious Stones Mine, really. Um, I use that to smooth that part out and then touch up the edges like that and it's good to go so I will do the same on the other one and then I'll come back and glue the plumbing parts on there all right <clears throat> so I got those glued in place with super glue now I am going to canopy in place there and that will pretty much mean that the uh, fuselage is ready for paint so what I'm going to do to put this canopy in place is hopefully hopefully Stick this piece of tape in here like that. I think maybe too long, which it is. Cut it off a little bit. Make kind of a hinge, and then I'll just tack it down in the back with some canopy glue, which is flexible and removable. So 
So a little dab. That right there. Wipe off that bit of excess. Let that dry, hopefully. And then I can move on to painting. The propeller. And then I'll be able to prime the whole fuselage. So let me get my paint out and I'll get ready to paint this propeller here and get it all masked up and everything. As a matter of fact, so I'm going to use my handy dandy to me a tape and I'm just going to eyeball it and hopefully it'll be uh, It will be even all the way around, but we shall see. Let's see how good of an eye I've got. I could measure it and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what? I don't want to. Why? Because I'm a slug. And I'll use oh that looks good yeah looks right on I'm gonna use Tamiya XF1 flat black to paint these here prop blades okay that's kind of crooked so let's Okay, one more. And we'll be ready to paint. It's a little too far. Yeah, that's better. Stretch out across. Just, to just a little and voila there we go ready to paint that that's the only thing that I need to paint black so I'll get out my little painting paper here run out of room this is the part of the uh, modeling process where my neatness and all that begins to come unraveled. It's all that extra painting and painting and priming and taping and then repainting and oh, it's the part that gets frazzling. This is the part where my videos usually fall apart because. All right, so the old black here. I'm not sure I've even used this jar of black yet. So let's put that there. Get the old HPM2 out again. Blow a little 
little bit out, put a little bit too much, and then put that in there like that. Clean my stir stick off. Like the play by play. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Set that aside. Put the lid on this so I don't knock it over. Because that would make a mess. Alright, so now we are ready to paint. Now, I'm not too worried about that center part there because you're not going to see it at all. Because it's going to be totally encased in the uh, spinner. This side again. <laughs> Just about right. Almost ran out of paint. So put that on the turntable to dry, and now I'll clean my airbrush. Okay, so now I'm going to use the uh, cockpit color I made earlier with uh, the clear and all that. To spray this framework and all these clear parts and the reason i'm doing well uh around the cockpit canopy and the windscreen and the reason i'm doing that is because that way from the inside you will see this color through the clear so it'll look like the canopy color so let me get my color cup filled up okay color cups full so let's get cracking here have to be perfect but it will help on the appearance on the inside all right so there's that so cleanup time all right so the moment has come to spray the primer over the whole thing so again, I'm going to use for good or ill, the uh, Vallejo Surface Primer Gloss Black, which is the best thing apparently for the uh, Vallejo metal colors. So I'm not gonna show the whole spraying process here because it will be quite boring, but it will start at least. So you can see what's up so i'm going to back this camera up a little bit so it's a little more visible my background's going to look all sloppy but that's okay so let's get cracking so first pour an ample amount in the color cup put the lid on the color cup so i don't spill any and begin. Kind of cool, we're getting some reverse panel lines going on here. And for it to dry, I'm going to be putting it in a plastic container 
So hopefully I don't get too much dust on it. All right, so that's what's going on. So I'm going to continue on with this and come back later. All right, folks, so here we are. Uh, it's on here. Looks fairly glossy, so hopefully it'll be good uh, for the metal. I've done it before, and let's hope it works out again. But um, that's it. So everything's primed. That, all of the individual pieces have been primed. Uh, the prop. has been primed or uh, painted that is the first time I've ever had that happen oh. ha thought I peeled my paint up that is a piece of tape Ta-da. I was going to say that's never happened to me before, ever. So that's done. Um, the prop spinner is done. Um, so that's pretty much it. So I am ready to start the um, metal finish. So I'm going to end this video here. Next time I come back, it will be to start throwing down some uh, metal paints. And... Um, we will see how well this stuff holds up with extensive taping and such, which haven't had a problem in the past, but we shall see. Um, so anyway, that's it for now, everybody, on Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. And uh, next time, we'll be doing all the painting stuff. Getting close to being done with this. Stoked. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hints, tips, or otherwise, please put them in the comments section down below, and I'll get back to you chop-chop. So as always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will see you all later.